Hi, it's Tony the Tech. Welcome to another Prices, Alarms, Instructional video. We're here in our uh, presentation room, and today I'm going to show you how to change the battery on your PG9904 wireless Neo motion detector. So be, be careful with that. Uh, if you've got a DSC Neo and this is the motion detector, take a look and we'll show you how to change the battery. Okay, so here you see a close up now of the DSC Neo wireless motion. This is the PG9904. So uh, you're going to need a little screwdriver and uh, the CR123A battery. So to get this off, it'll be up on the, the corner of the room, likely. Um, so you'll be up on a ladder, so be careful. Uh, don't do anything silly. <laughs> and So what you're going to do is you're going to undo this little screw on the bottom here. So and you're not going to take it all the way out. You're going to actually just turn this thing a few times to get the head clear of the plastic case. So you can see about that far and the cover will come off just like that. And so this part will be left still mounted to the wall. Now you're still not quite there yet. The battery is actually, actually on the back of this circuit board and uh, you're going to need this little tab to be lifted which will allow the circuit board to come out. So be gentle with this. You can hang onto it by the corner. And you can see on the back here you've actually got the battery. So we go ahead, it's just being held in by the, uh, the little metal brackets. You can pop that out, grab your replacement battery. If you weren't paying attention to which way it goes in, uh, you'll see a little plus on this left side here, uh, which is the side with the little tab and the little nub on the end of the battery. So we'll go ahead and snap that back in like so. And you're ready to insert the circuit board back into the motion detector. So the battery um, goes at the top and so you insert the bottom first, it'll kind of fit right into these two little brackets and then this will just snap in like that. So maybe just give it a little bit of a tug and make sure that it's not loose and it is firmly inserted and you're ready for the cover to go back on and the cover goes on top first, you'll see a little tab there that it slits, uh, sits into this little slot on the top like that and uh, push firmly down until the cover is tight. And you can just screw that back in, not too tight. Nice and uh, firm there. It's as easy as that. Uh, just double check at the keypad and make sure that any trouble conditions for the sensor have cleared. Uh, if you're still having any issues you can certainly give us a call. We're more than happy to assist you over the phone. Um, but uh, that's about it. It was Tony the Tech. It was nice chatting with you, and we'll see you on the next video.